I was a, a sort of an awkward kid. Um, you know, I, I didn't have a lot of friends. I wasn't socially comfortable. So I found Haven on the piano bench. Um, and it has served me well all my life. A musical life that began with the strict guidance of a famously musical father, Karl Haas, a German Holocaust survivor and immigrant with a passion to share. I watched my dad at a really young age contribute to the cultural scene in Detroit. My mom and dad started the Chamber Music Society of Detroit back in 1944 at the Detroit Institute of Arts. My dad's radio show started in 1959 in Detroit. He brought in um, musicians and, and international cultural personalities into Detroit on a regular basis. Inducted into the Radio Hall of Fame, millions know Carl Haas from his decades on the radio. He was one of the strongest voices on the great voice of the Great Lakes, WJR, with his daily classical music program, Adventure in good music and its unmistakable opening. Hello everyone. He was a very, very focused man and um, told me once that if he spent his entire life studying classical music, he wouldn't get to everything he wanted to learn. If any proof is needed that rhythm is the most important ingredient in music. Dedication that led to a national radio show starting in the 1970s. And as important as his father and his music were to WJR listeners, the Baldwin Concert Grand Piano Carl Haas played for many years sat languishing in a storage room in Detroit, almost forgotten forever. Jim Mavola got a tour of the facility and spotted this piano in a storeroom, piled high with boxes on it and looking pretty uh, rough. I mean, asked uh, the folks at WJR what that piano was all about. And they said, that, well, that was Carl Haas's piano. He used it during his run here at WJR from 59 to 74. Jim Evola of Evola Music knew how important the Carl Haas piano was and got WJR to donate it to him to be repaired so Jeff Haas could play it at the celebration honoring his father on what would have been his 100th birthday. And that's not all. The DIA concert was on a Friday. Jim said on Monday, I'm shipping it to Traverse City, Jeff, and it is yours. Even having the massive piano moved in the dead of winter to the home of Building Bridges with Music, Jeff Haas's group that teaches lessons in respect in schools using music. The piano is his. And he would come into the practice room and ask me to slide over on the piano bench, and he'd sit down and play the passage that I was working on. It would bring tears to my eyes um, because he was, uh, he was teaching me to go beyond playing the notes and make music with the notes. memories that come alive with every press of the key, every push of the pedal. The piano reunited with the Haas family as they continue Carl's legacy. I think my dad would be very proud of the work that we do with Building Bridges with Music, but with the same belief that this music can contribute to healing the world. And the promise of generations of music from an instrument that nearly slipped away. Jeff Haas can play a song he wrote for his daughter on the piano with which his father brought good music to the masses. It is when I'm practicing on my own and when I take the time to sit back and reflect on the history of the instrument that I really think about my dad and what he's brought to my life over the years. Mm -hmm. 